And we continue learning Dear Shu Mishnabura Simin Kof Chav Ches. And we pick it up from Sif Mem Aleph. Says the Mechaber. Sif Mem Aleph. Let's just get it up on the screen. Here we go. Nitma Lemes. If a Kain, we know a Kain is not allowed to become Tame Mace. But if a Kain does become Tame Mace, She'ena Mishiva Mace Mitzvah. Which is not from one of the seven Kraivim that he's supposed to be Metametu. Sorry that your page keeps on moving. There we go. She'ena Mishiva Metame Mace Mitzvah, excuse me. Pasol Min Adochen. The Kain is not allowed to Dochen. We call him Call Mailas Akuna Ad She Yoshev Ikavos Leitama Oid Lemesim until he accepts he's not going to continue becoming Tamei Mes. Says the Rama Yishaimrim Demisha Yishlei Bas Son who has a daughter Shehi Mira that went off the derech Oishe Zinsa or that was Mizane Ein Mechuyavim Oid Lekadshay He's not Mechuyav to marry her off Ki Avia He Mechaleles. So let's see the Mishnah Buras, what's going on over here. And we begin with Sivkat and Kof Nun, which the Mishnah Bura begins with this halacha that if someone becomes, a kain becomes, Tamei Meis, says the Mishnah Bura. V'hainu davka b'meizit, this means he did it on purpose. V'hain bir halacha, v'yakabel. So the only way for him to do tshuva is he has to accept that he's no longer going to do this. Sivkat and Kof Nun Al, v'vazdin. U'bazan, so now the Mishnah Bura contrasts. In the previous, if we learned, you don't just have to accept not to do it again. You have to make a nether b'vnei rabim. Says Mishnah Bura, Ubezein zar lindar uli shava. Kanal b'sif mep. Over here, he doesn't have to make a shvua and a nether like we learned in the previous sif. Why? The shiny arayos. The yitzray talk. For there, it was done with arayos. But arayos, we have to be more concerned. Because there's always a concern of Yitzray talk. For the Yitzhara is going to grab the better of him. And that is the reason why over there by arayos, you need to have a nether a shvub if they rab over here that it just that he didn't have air and he has to chuva, it's enough to be makabal and bezdin that he won't be tamimis. Vain the chuba's ksav cipher continues the Mr. Bura, look at the chuba ksav cipher simin tezain, be rife shimavakar mason, she's like the ellis har vachas mamun, a rife a doctor, that he goes to visit people and he gains money from it. In such a scenario, lo sagi bekabal zlevat. Over there, it's not enough if he just makes a kabbal. Ache nidor be rabim mo benashim aver ayin sham. Why? Because you have the same yitzahara, not the same yitzahara. We have a similar yitzahara that yitzray dagfai that one wants to make money. Before we continue, let's just see over here. Dirshu note number one is fifty six. A very interesting halach. Says the dirshu. Me, the Ksav Sefer is talking about a case in which the Kayin is putting himself in a scenario in which he could become Tami Mace. So the Zirshu says a very similar case. We have a Kayin that wants to be a doctor and they're going to be Mace in there. Says the Tum Tam Lada, says the Shlomo Kluger, that what? It has to be that it's his expertise that he's allowed to be there. Or that he needs, it's needed for Parnassah, then there's a Makkah to be Mekel. And of course, it's a large sugya, just to point out um, one of the connections to us, and continues over here, and what happens when there is a mace in the hospital. So if he's in the middle of Bikuach Nefesh, a doctor who's a Kayin in the middle of saving someone's life, he's allowed to continue doing what he's doing. However, it comes in Ramay Shafayin, and he says it's Asr for a Kayin, to be a Kayin in a hospital for Parnasa. Why? If it's a hospital, it has an Asim inside of it. Unless there's only a Yehudi there once in a while. I mean, if there are hospitals filled with Jews, which is usually, or I should say usually, every scenario is different, which is often the case, then says Ramay Shad, the Yid, the Kayin cannot be a doctor there. But if not, then he could. And he says he should make it tonight with the Hanahala, with those in charge of the hospital. That when there is a yid, a yid that's nifter, or even on his deathbed, he has to have permission to leave right away. And, okay, Rosh Hashanah continues discussing this. Let's move on. Says Mr. Bura, Sivkat and Kof, non base. If one has, if, quoting the Ramah over here, excuse me, we're having uh, some technology issues over here today. 
Okay, well, let's just leave without the camera. Shame here, he's in saw that if the daughter went up to Derek or was Mizan, I am going to rock. Shaykhi Abdullah Mechalel Zaviyarak Mizanos. Dave la le shamra. Why? So the Magan Avram says that the father becomes a chalal, the father becomes desecrated if the daughter is mizana. Why? Because the father should have guarded her. Avleib Amar Ibn Amish, she just goes off the derech. Mahadir Naki Shemira, so why does Ramah say a case as well? When she goes off the derech, Shemdikim and Shemira, Mistama Zinsa Ganki. Says Mishtabura, the Ramah is talking about a case that if she went off the derech, the chayra, she was mizana as well, and Mashikaz of Aizinsa, Hainu Aizinsa Lachad, if she just was mizana, or she didn't go up the derech. In these cases, in the chivin, I will catch you. I know. Then you left there. Rish and Avarich Rishayim. So then, you don't need. Excuse me. I read this wrong. I read this incorrectly. In the chivin, I will catch you. Does not mean. Excuse me. I said that the father doesn't have obligation to marry her off. That's a that was a travesty. It means. Excuse me. That we do not have the obligation to honor him, the kain, the father, because we're learning that by his daughter. Going up the derech, what is this considered? This is considered that the father is a chalal. As we've seen, he won't he won't pass out the fact that his daughter is mizane. So let's just get this in order. If the person himself was Mizana, we learned yesterday, he's still out of Dachim. Today we're learning that if the person's daughter is Mizana or goes on the Derech, there's no longer a din of Yikidashta, there's no longer a din to honor the Kayin, to give him the first Aliyah, etc. But he still does Dachim. If she's Mizana, when she was engaged or married, Avil Penuya, but if the girl was Mizana while she was single, then the father does not become a chalal and the father still gets honor. Because Achrainim, the Mizana Zah, Ein Minog Livsal, Kain, Bishvil, Zenos, Bitoi, says Mishnabura, quoting the Achrainim, an unfortunate reality that we certainly have to deal with, says the Mishnabura, that if one's child goes off the derech, if one's child is Mizana, it's not the Minog to apostle the father. So before we move on to Sidman and Bays, let's take a moment to look at Dear Shino number 157. And Dear Shu quotes, What's the reason nowadays we don't pass the Father? Says the grass, the reason being is it's not Machal the Father only when there's a Zinos with Adim, with Asra, and we have a Sanhedrin, which of course we don't have any of that nowadays. Continues the Kavachayim, based on the Mordechai that Meshavruah brings in Zim in Siv Kadim Kofim and Gimel, that there's always the Rishos, meaning we just saw a moment ago, we're always allowed to honor the Kayim. So therefore, in this scenario, nowadays, we're going to take that to the next step, and we're going to continue honoring the Kayim, even if his child had some issues. Says the Machaber Sif Membeis, Ha-Chalal, Eino, 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 a chalal does not dochen. Says the Mishnah Bura, what is a chalal? The hainus of katan kof nane de noilan mi isure kuna. Someone who is born from an illegal union in the kuna. Shein grusha zayn of a chalal. If a kain marries a grusha zayn or a chalal, which of course is all illegal, then the child becomes a chalal. It's unfortunate, but that child is not allowed to dochen. Why not? This person loses his status of a kai and he's considered like a czar, like Yisak, which causes Avinazis in Zayin. Even in cases that is a dinder abon and kigain, hanoyle mechalut again kain enoy noisei as kapov. So before we move on to Sif Mem Gimel, let's just take a moment. To see the Dirshu note number 158, the Dirshu discusses over here what does it mean that he has a din of a zar lechol davar? What if he does go up to Dochen, says the Bira Allah of a change to be God, and we saw this yesterday. Uh, I know we didn't, um, I'm not sure, I think the Dirshu quoted this yesterday. He's over in Issa the Raisa, and you have to tell him to come down. Of course, we're always concerned about embarrassing another Yid, but if he's being over in Issa the Raisa, then unfortunately we have to take him off the Bima. Uh, the Dochen. And we continue with Sivmem Gimel. Says the Machaber, Achar Shiva Zimei Ave Elos. 
Noise a cap of after Avelos, the coin could do again. But we talk should be me Avelos. Yeti is a Knesset, Shosha Kayer Kahanim. The coin should not be in Shua while they call out Kayhanim. Says the Ramavi, Shem the Holz man. Ha Avelos, Avilo Adirbe is Chaydash. The entire Avelos, Alavi Valima, Eno, Noise is Kabov. Says the Ramav, Kayanim, do not talk to the Holy of Avelos, Chay, Noya Gim. Pimedina is Elo, the Kohanim. Do not talk in during their Shana, during their year of Avelos. Says Mishra Bros. of Katakum and Zion, he should eat him as Kenes de Medina, Chayav Avalavar. What's the reason? Because Midin, the Avalavar is an obligation to bless. To Dochen, Shari Chayav Chalam is a Mishra Bros. Bataira. El Shanagu Shalis is Kab of his Aminag. Why? Mishra Zarach, I can't leave us with Simcha. As we've seen, one of the prerequisites of Berchus Kayanim that the Kayan has to be with Simcha. We saw there can't be any discord. He has to get over his issues. And he has to be with Simcha. But of Levish has a Bracha. Kedar Sev, a Taiv Lev. And therefore, and therefore, if he's in Avelos, and therefore he's not Besimcha, therefore he should leave the shul so they don't call him up. Let's say he messed up. He didn't leave the shul. And they called him up to Dochen. We've seen many times. Once you're there, once they start with say, when you move your leg, they call you to Dochen, the Allah is then that point, it's is a Daraisa to not. Therefore, even the Avel, who unfortunately is not Besimcha, would have to Dochen. The Ramah said, Sevkat the Ches, and nowadays the Minage is for all 12 months. I know Avilu B'Shavzi Yant, Sheinu Nek Rosharui Besimcha. Why? Shroz Alel is Sevkat Kaptan Ches, just like the Avel. Cannot go to a chasana. He can't go to matzavim of simcha. So too he can't dochen, which is a matzav of simcha. For what did I came from? He's a beregel. So in Barry's relative on yontif, Avol pishet ain't lo chalav avil sevil was not chal yet. Come back away. Come on, matzav of simcha. You may say beregel. There's no dinim of avilus. He's floating in a middle land, but he's not allowed to be with simcha. Therefore, shena dochen. For what did I need? I feel beyontif shuchai v'cholam mitzvahs mikol makom or ain't no sharoi be simcha. If they call him to go up, he should go up. Some say not. This din is, of course, we know that the year for parents is equivalent to Shleishim for other relatives. That there is a din of Avilos. There's not two Kayhanim aside. For he and the Avil, Motel Avil is the Kavitachi Beis Chaydash. Then Avil Kodach within the year, Lav Alima, Yotel Shashim Al Shah Kravis. This last line is a very important line. Every line is important. But the Ramah just taught us that the meaning is for an Avil, not the Dochen. But now the Mishabura concludes that if there's only two other Kayanim aside for the Avil, then the Avil is yes allowed to Dochen even during his Shana, even during his year of Avilos. With this we conclude, with this we conclude, we just see over here, uh, Dear Shunot number 167, where the Mishnah said, other Kravim, other relatives, you have an obligation to mourn on them, says the Dear Shunot, this is the meaning in Chutzar, is that we don't dochen only on Yantif, but in Eretz Yisrael. Each and every day, says the Shevet HaLevi, that within Shleishim, if there's no other Kravim aside for he, or there's only one other kayin, he should dochen. If there are kayanim, if there are extra kayanim, then he's allowed to leave the shul. But after shleishim, he should certainly dochen. However, the chazanish, um, or Chaykenevsky says over the opinion of the chazanish is Eretz Yisrael, and Avel dochens within 12 months, excuse me, in Eretz Yisrael, and Avel dochens within 12 months, aside from the days of Avelos, because Chaim not teaches, that is the minog, in Eretz Yisrael. So interestingly enough, even though this would seem to be extremely relevant in a world that they dochen each and every day, the G'dayli Eretz Yisrael are teaching us that they are noyeg, that indeed they dochen even during the year of Avelos, and we'll continue with Sif Memdalin in the next year, B'siyata Dishmayo.